So there does appear to be some slight differences between uh, PLA carbon fiber and uh, nylon carbon fiber. This is from Polymaker. And this is PLA carbon fiber from Overtrue. So some differences here that you can see. A little bit more bounce in the nylon carbon fiber than the PLA carbon. Oh no, it's almost about the same. See it here. Now I would say that the nylon carbon fiber is a little bit more bouncy, not by much. Don't pay attention to these two rods here that are missing. I broke those off earlier on accident. Um, otherwise, it is almost all completely the same. The PLA carbon fiber has a nicer matte finish. I do prefer this over this. We do know that uh, PLA tends to suck when it's left outside or in high temp situations. So unfortunately can't use it for the project that I have in mind. I'm gonna have to go with this. Another thing I noticed I didn't really like is, don't know if you can even pick up on that. There's a slight warp PLA. No warp. And if there is, it's very minimal. Oh, there is a slight, slight amount, but not as bad as this. You can visibly see that pop down, almost like a button. Anyhow, just figured I'd give an up close overhang test. And this is on the X1 carbon. Almost forgot to mention, a little bit of stringing. This is the nylon carbon fiber. Some stringing was at right around the 80 degree. Interestingly enough, not really present as much in 70 and 60 as it is 80. Here's the PLA. The PLA carbon fiber goes all the way down, certain seeing some strings, some weird stuff. It's as low as 40 degrees. And on the other side, 15 degree increments. We're seeing some as low as, as low as 45. Nylon. Definitely see some on the top there, 75 and 80. We're primarily seeing it around the 75. They're truly not that bad. It wouldn't be a perfect print in my mind, but still good enough.